Magnesium is one of the most important, maybe the most important mineral for humans. Unfortunately, magnesium deficiency is very common today and can lead to wide-ranging problems. In this video, I want to talk about what magnesium is, its role in the body, and how to get enough magnesium, which means we will talk about proper supplementation at the end of the video. Let's start by discussing what magnesium is and why we need it. Magnesium is an essential dietary mineral, meaning we need to get it from food and cannot produce it ourselves. The recommended dietary allowance for adults in the US is between 400 and 420 milligrams daily for men and between 310 and 320 milligrams for women. Just as a side note, the body of a 155 pound or 70 kilogram man will have stores of magnesium of around 24 grams most of which is in the bones or directly in the cells. There it is used as an electrolyte or as a cofactor for enzymes and chemical reactions. Nowadays, scientists have identified over 300 enzymes that require magnesium, which makes it difficult to describe them all. Let me still list a few of the most important ones. First, magnesium helps maintain electrical charge in the cell. Together with potassium, Magnesium is an intracellular electrolyte, meaning it is found mostly inside the cells. This is unlike calcium and sodium, which are found in higher concentrations outside the cells. The body can pump magnesium into the cell and also pump out calcium and sodium out of the cells, which sets up an electrical charge that keeps the body functioning correctly. It is also responsible for a healthy water balance in the blood and tissues as it attracts water. This is also the reason magnesium can be used as a laxative because it draws so much water into the intestines. Another important role of magnesium is in our body's energy metabolism and muscle function. You see, magnesium activates the energy molecule adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP, which cells need to function properly. You might have heard of ATP in relation to creatine, which helps replenish ATP more quickly, meaning it allows you to lift more weight in the gym. Well, you can supplement all the creatine you want. If your body is low in magnesium, your strength will not increase much because your entire energy metabolism is lacking its most important nutrient. Because magnesium also helps with muscle relaxation, a magnesium deficiency is usually associated with a low energy level and muscle cramps, which together are a recipe for disaster for every athlete. Last but not least, magnesium is also involved in the metabolism of carbohydrates. Unfortunately, this is something very few people are aware of. Together with chromium, magnesium is the most important mineral for diabetics and anyone with blood sugar issues. That's because it regulates insulin secretion from the pancreas. So without it, your insulin secretion is dysfunctional and your glucose tolerance will be lower, meaning your body doesn't handle sugar from foods very well. So in conclusion, the most important functions of magnesium are that it regulates energy metabolism, it relaxes the muscles and nervous system, it contributes to maintaining healthy bone function, and it helps regulate blood sugar and blood pressure. When we look at this list, we can easily understand why a magnesium deficiency is so dangerous. Not only will you have less energy, but your body will not be able to calm down after activity, because it doesn't have magnesium to relax the muscles and nervous system. Consequently, your sleep will suffer and stress levels skyrocket. Unfortunately, this very scenario is not uncommon, as magnesium deficiency is one of the most common nutrient deficiencies out there. The three main reasons for this are 1. Food processing. Refining grains removes up to 80% of magnesium. So, for instance, 100 grams of whole wheat flour have close to 140 milligrams of magnesium, whereas the same amount of white flour only has 22 milligrams. The same applies to processing sugar cane into refined sugar or whole grain rice into white rice. Next is stress. I've talked about this before. Basically, when you're stressed, your body loses magnesium through the kidneys and losing too much magnesium through your urine can then lead to even higher levels of stress and anxiety continuing the vicious cycle. 
Caffeine and alcohol can also accelerate the rate of magnesium excretion, so please don't use either as a way to reduce stress in your life. And third is intense exercise. Even though exercise is healthy, of course, it is a form of stress for the body. One study found that strenuous exercise increased magnesium loss through sweat and urine by 10 to 20%, and that athletes are at a high risk for deficiency. Okay, at this point, you're probably wondering how to avoid a deficiency. So let's talk about magnesium foods next. In general, the foods richest in magnesium are green leafy vegetables, whole grains, and nuts and seeds. However, all three come with a caveat. Certain green leafy vegetables, such as spinach, come with oxalic acid, which binds to magnesium and therefore lowers the amount you actually digest. Same with phytic acid and whole grains and nuts, that binds not just to magnesium, but also other essential minerals, such as calcium and zinc. While the negative effects of oxalic and phytic acid are hotly debated, I would recommend that if you eat a lot of grains, for example, a bowl of oatmeal every morning, to soak them the night before to lower phytic acid. That way the magnesium in the oats will be a lot more bioavailable. Also, certain spring waters are rich in magnesium. Here it really depends on the individual brand and where they source their water. So definitely make sure to check the label. Before we get to the last part of the video, which is magnesium supplements, I quickly want to talk about how to effectively measure magnesium levels in the body to check for a deficiency. While you might think you should get a blood test, this doesn't really make sense for magnesium and many other minerals. You see, less than 1% of magnesium is actually stored in the blood. The remaining 99% is found in the bones, muscles, and soft tissue. And in case blood levels drop, your body will then quickly pull out magnesium from these storage sites into the blood to compensate for the loss. So you could be magnesium deficient in your bones and tissues, even though your blood results came back normal. That's why I'm not a big fan of magnesium blood tests and usually recommend a hair analysis instead. I talk about how to easily get a good mineral hair analysis in a different video. Okay, on to the final part of this video, magnesium supplement. Do you need them? And if so, how much should you take? To answer the most important question first, Yes, you probably need a magnesium supplement. That's because the reasons I mentioned earlier, so increased magnesium loss, stress, and exercise, along with a lower intake because of food processing, apply to almost everyone to some degree, and magnesium deficiency is very common. From my experience, the average diet simply doesn't provide enough magnesium to compensate for the stressful lives we all live. To quote my favorite research-based nutrition website, examine.com, Magnesium deficiency is common in developed countries and is associated with diabetes and other conditions. A prolonged lack of magnesium in the diet can lead to muscle cramps, raise blood pressure, and reduce insulin sensitivity. Of course, I don't want to force anyone to take supplements, and you can try to get enough by making smart adjustments to your diet. But it will be very difficult to get enough, especially if you have an existing deficiency where you need more than the RDA to fix it. Okay, so if you decide to supplement, how much should you take? What's the ideal magnesium dose? It's difficult to give you a one-off answer here because your ideal dosage depends on your current magnesium level. In general, most people will need to supplement between 300 and 500 milligrams per day of elemental magnesium. You will want to spread this out over two to three doses because taking large doses at once can be difficult for the body to absorb especially if you take it together with other minerals. I usually take 150 milligrams for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Magnesium supplementation is very safe, but overdosing can lead to diarrhea and or upset stomachs. If you have trouble taking a supplement because it leads to heart palpitations or sudden drops in blood pressure, then this is usually due to a deficiency in the magnesium antagonists, such as calcium and or sodium. And that's pretty much it for this video. As you now know, magnesium is crucial to your health and involved in countless processes in the body. So if you're not getting an adequate intake of this mineral through food, you definitely want to consider supplements. Before though, make sure to get your levels checked with a properly done hair analysis.